everybody, Phil here, Dirty Dog Prospecting. We're on our way out to uh, one of my little spots close to my house here for some agate geodes, gas bubble geodes, whatever you want to call it. Go do some exploring. Um, I just wanted to clarify on my last video, the Apache Tears video, I stated that that was the only place that the Apache Tears were found. Well, since then I've had some comments and messages stating the fact otherwise that there are other deposits, at least two more here in Arizona, and one in New Mexico. Now, I've never heard about them before, so, you know, if it's true, it's true. If it's not, it's not. Apache Tears are a bit different than in regular obsidian, I do know that, but we're going to have to go explore those spots. But that being said, let's get on to today's adventure. All right, guys, we're out here at the spot, out by New River, out here with Jake. Not from State Farm, but we're looking for geodes. You know, I got one here on the ground. I'll show you what we're looking for. All right, so here we go. We're looking for these little bubbles, just like this right here. Oh. And see, oh, there's the agate part, and then it's nice and light. It's a nice little geode. We'll have to cut that when we get home. Yeah, so there's our first one. Jake's got a nice one over here already. You don't have to pull it out, but yeah, he's got a nice big one there already. Sweet. So we're gonna take a little hike over to the sweet spot over here and show you what we get. We'll try to cut them today when we get home too. Oh, look at that one. Jake just got a huge one. That's hollow as shit. That's gonna cut up nice, man. <laughs> well, guys, we're in a little patch. Look, there's some nice larger ones. And look, what's this right here? Oh, is that one? That is not one. But it was close, right? You probably couldn't tell the difference in the video. I could have just said it was one and you would have believed me but I'm not like that. So let's see, we're in a good patch here. I think I already mentioned that. Let's see what else we can't find. Look, here's, there's a ton of these little guys. And then I wanna find a big one. What's this buried in here? It's already broken. And you can see even if they're not hollow, they got some nice banding in them. Anyways, oh look, right here you can see the light coming through it. It's a little tiny one again. All about those little tiny ones, there's one. This is a really special spot. I like it. Oh look, there's a, ooh, that one's not bad. That one's got the thickness and round. Hollow, definitely hollow. Like I was saying, this is one of my favorite spots to go. Kind of close to my house. Not hard to get to. Nice scenery. Let's get back to some walking. Try to see what we can come across. I haven't even reached the main spot where I always go. I've never been here, but good thing we stopped here. This is Hang off well so far. Jake disappeared over that way. I'm gonna go track him down before we get completely lost. All right, guys, be back in a sec. Guys, it's huge. That's definitely hollow. That's like that weighs like as much as a quarter, maybe two quarters. But that's light, big. That's gonna be a nice one. Let's see what I. There's it. That happy. It's already broken. Pretty cool though. Big. 
There might be some crystals in there when we clean it out. Maybe some bands. We'll throw it in the Ooh, look, right there. Right next to it. Uh, oh, it's a piece. Oh. Look at the bands in here. Look at the banding in these. Crazy bands out here. All this stuff. You finding good stuff over there? Oh yeah. Oh look, there's another one right there. They're everywhere. It's kind of a crazy shaped one. Some crystals right there. And there. And there's another one right there. See it? That's a happy. It got broke already. There's another one right there. That one might actually be whole. You know, you know, there's the hole right there. It's already broken. We want some big whole ones. Alright. Let's keep looking. Well, I've been just trying to kind of walk it around. Here, look all the ground. We found a few good things. Some big ones. I don't think we're done yet, but after we're done looking for these little geodes here, I think we might try to go find some old Indian ruins or something. I don't know yet, that's not a guarantee. We'll have to see. But this place is definitely, definitely a fun time. It's by New River, Arizona. I'm not gonna give out, I never give out exact locations or nothing. The area, I mean, is known for agates and stuff, so it's not hard to take some forest trails, roads, and see where they end up, and you'll find something. I mean, the New River is an awesome area. And all you really want to do is just drive around and look for patches of volcanic action, some red dirt, some quartz. If you can find all three of those things in the same spot, I guarantee you'll find some agates. So. You know, keep hunting. It's out here. It's everywhere. It's not hard to find. You just got to do a little bit of research, a little bit of hiking. And most places in Arizona, to be honest, like, there's a lot of hard places to hike to. Granted, but there's so many easy places to get to with so much good stuff. Look at this. I just found a huge Do you see what I see in the ground right here? Oh, it's big, kind of flat. That is a big geo. That thing is that is light. That'll be a fun cutter. <laughs> like I was saying, just hike down some roads like here. Very accessible road. I mean, maybe not too accessible, but you get the drift. Drive down some roads, find some cool rocks. That's what Arizona's got for you. I love Arizona. I, I need to get out of Arizona, go to like Oregon. Really want to go to Oregon, Arkansas, obviously. And hopefully, if everything goes right, maybe this summer we can hit Mount Antero. But we'll have to see how that all plays out. Alright, I'm going to go back to hunting and quit boring y'all. So let's go. How we doing? There's a good little patch here, man. Ooh. That's a big one. Yeah. That kind of really good over there, too. Oh, wow. Look at that. False trinoid bottle. Crazy. That's awesome. <laughs> Definite score. Alright guys, we just found a nice example of what you can find up here after a cut. Look at that. Look at that. 
awesome. There's a nice jasper up here too. Color in there, that's some nice stuff. Definitely good for cabin out. Alright, definitely a lot of cactus up here. I've had it stuck in my leg a couple times already. That's just the price you pay. Hardcore rock down adventures. Oh, look, there's another one. Oh, look at that. Nice rounded fat boom. That's how I know. There's the agate sticking out. It's going to be a good one. All right, I got to concentrate on not getting stuck by these cactus. Get out of here. I don't have a cowboy hat on, so I'm not protected like Jake is. So, so yeah, we're trying to make our way to the Indian ruins, maybe. Over there. We'll, we'll figure that out. All right. Stop recording. Why will my phone not stop recording? Jake just took a cactus to the arm for this piece. <laughs> Thank Let's you, see dude. it. Oh, oh it's gosh. broken. That sucks. <laughs> still That's still sweet. That's still pretty. Piece. Super sparkly. Yeah. Still a cool piece. A lot man. of shiny in a sweet little package. Look at that. Ding dang. I don't know what that means. It sounds racist, but it's not. <laughs> All right. On with the adventure. So, I don't know if we're gonna make it over to those ruins because we just came across another amazing patch of these things. Look, look at this. Just sitting right here, side by side. There's this and this. Those are both hollow. That one's not very good. That one's actually not hollow. It's not too aggy. This one. One of my favorite kinds. It's perfectly, it's like a teardrop shape, like that UFO shape. These things, you cut them right down those lines there, and it's just, it's awesome. And there's another one that's maybe not, maybe not another one. But this is it. They're all over over here. This is a good little patch. So we might make it over there. We might not. Oh man, check this. Yeah, it's a cave. That's gonna be cool when you clean it up, man. That's a big one. That's a huge one. Yeah. Right on. Well, like I said, maybe we gotta start going backwards here because I think I see a huge one over here. Here, I'm gonna bring everybody with me here. I'm probably wrong. But I'm totally wrong. That's a piece of quartz. Oh well. I think we're gonna do a little bit more checking this area out. I just, I see them everywhere, even just chunks of egg. So we're gonna figure it out. I'll get back to you. Jake's found a geode in the host rock here. He's gonna chip it out. Get it? Nice one. In the bucket it goes. That one's loose there. That's a pretty decent sized one. I'm not too concerned about breaking it. I just want to see how big it really is. Oh, that is big. as big as I thought it was, but there's one right out of the host. I don't know if it was worth all the work because I'm not going to take it home. <laughs> oh, man. We're never going to make it to the... We're never going to make it to the ruins. We're stuck here for life. The good news is, is that they've probably been there for 600 years. So. Oh, all these rocks have definitely been here for at least 20 years. Oh, the, the ruins. Oh, the ruins have been, they've been here for the same at least 20 years. Oh, at least. At least. We've had this, I've had this discussion with Brian and Julie before. Oh, oh there's another one. Oh, I got this stupid camera backwards. There we go. It's everywhere. It's, it's everywhere. It's kind of cool to see that seam, though. Yeah. All right. Back to... 
back to the hunt. We're trying to make our way out to where the ruins are. Okay. We'll see if we can make it. We might be able to, we might not. But we're definitely not done yet today. Go rocks out there. It's still sunlight. So we can't be too late though. We have a couple of obligations. But, you know, until then. Alright. We gotta concentrate on that camera with this camera straight anyways. Alright, see you in a minute. Yeah. So we pulled over, we're gonna go check out, we think we see a tailings pile over here. We're gonna go check out. It is, there's, there's gold in the area, who knows? There's copper in the area, there's copper mines all throughout here. So we'll see what we find. We're almost there, what's not too bad. Like Jake said, it might just be a pile of rocks, but there is a ton of quartz on the ground here. And I started out, my whole rock handing thing started out gold prospecting, so I'm always down for finding a gold mine. I love that stuff. It's fun. That's definitely a man-made pile right there. Definitely looks like a tailings pile. So let me go check it out. Maybe we'll find a gold specimen. I should have brought my metal detector. I have to start bringing it on these excursions. You never know when a good metal detector can come in handy. Might find an old can of beans when I'm hungry one day out in the middle of the desert. Eat it up. At least I'll be full when I die. All right, <laughs> bagging them in. Okay, so I found a piece of what I think is ore. Here, see right in there. There's like a little vein. Copper or silver. It ain't gold, that's for sure. But this very well could have been a small gold mine. That's probably the stuff they were looking for, so crushing that up. Yeah. Take that home and crush it, man. Yeah. Oh yeah. But there's the mine right back in here. Let's see if I could squish through the spiky tree here. Alright. Oh look what we found. Look at that. Oh, it goes back in there. I don't know if we can get out if we go in. That's about, that's about eight feet deep. Do you have rope in the truck? A tow rope's fine. Hold on, we might be going down in here, hold on. So we're finding tons of little holes. This is a really small one. We're finding tons of like little prospect addits. Almost it looks like all over this hill. I'm pretty sure this was a gold or silver mine. I don't see any copper ore, any copper minerals. There's tons of crystals up here. Oh yeah, that looks like some yummy quartz. That could be you know, this whole area in here with the yeah. Iron rich stuff is what we do for crap. Yeah, this stuff here, that's a good piece. Just that crappy looking quartz. Maybe there's another big, big hole. They hit this mountain hard, man. There's bigs all over. There's another big one over there. Wow. I wonder if we can get over there. That looks like a huge one right there. On an exploration right now. <laughs> Fun man, you find all kinds of cool stuff. Who knows? Maybe we'll find uh, the lost Dutchman mine up here. Maybe it's not even in the super systems. Maybe it's right here in our own backyard. You never know. Well, I didn't get that on videotape, but I should have, man. We just came up that, which is at least 45 degrees. I gotta give it to these little Colorado ZR2s. Not sponsored, but you can if you want. <laughs> I don't think we're going any further, man. 
Oh, jeez. Holy cow. We can walk it, we can hike it. Arizona, nothing like Arizona. Oh, we're going straight down. <laughs> Holy cow. Everything's sliding to the front of the truck. We never made it to the uh, ruins up there. The road got a little sketchy, soft. We took off, I'm headed out. We had a good day though, we found some good stuff. Some big geodes, we're gonna go cut them open. I gotta make a couple stops, and when I get home, I'm gonna hopefully cut them open. Then, you're gonna see them right now, but it's gonna be an hour or two before I see them, at least, if not three or four hours. But I am going to see them, but you're going to see them right now. Check it out. watching everybody until next time leave out cross touching like and subscribe bye all right go we got claim jumpers oh we're <laughs> out